I created this YouTube short channel only using AI in 24 hours. And here's exactly how I did it. First of all, you need to define your niche. For me, I had an interest in podcasts and interviews. So I wanted to go with something like that. But before you do that, you need to do some research. So for that, I'm going to go to perplexity and I'm going to ask what the best niche is for podcast clips on YouTube shorts. Now I'm going to hit enter and now it's going to search all of Reddit to see what other people have posted about this. And with this information, I don't have to do all of that research myself. AI does it for me. So here we have entertainment and humor educational, informative, and we have true crime. I went with entertainment because I also love watching funny clips. So let's actually do something like that. Now, next up, you need to get a name for your channel. For this, we will be using ChatGPT. Here, I'm gonna ask it to find me a good channel name for an entertainment channel. I'm gonna hit enter and ChatGPT literally spits this out very quickly. So now out of this entire list, you can pick name I choose something like Laughing Legends for this. Next up, you need to have a logo and banner. And for this channel, I went with this logo and this banner right here. I actually made this using Midjourney. So for this, I literally go to Midjourney. I type in the rock caricature and now it made me something like this. Now that we have the basics ready, it's time to create some good content. And for this, we'll be using a combination of like YouTube and AI to generate our clips. For this, I went through hours and hours of content on YouTube. I literally just searched any funny moments, any interviews, anything I could find. And for example, I found a video like this, and this video did pretty well. It is an interview with Millie Bobby Brown, and it's honestly quite funny. So what I can do is I can take this interview right here. I can copy the URL. I can go into Opus Clip, and they have a new feature that's called Clip Anything. And with Clip Anything, you can basically ask it or prompt it to find any clip. You can do this for sports. So for example, with basketball, you can ask it to compile all the dunks and it will find all the dunks for you, pass them into one short and you can post them on YouTube. Now for this interview, I do a little bit different. I ask it to find me the viral moments. So first of all, the clip length will be 30 seconds to 30 to 59 seconds. Then for the genre, I'm going with interview and entertainment. And then I'm going to ask to find the best viral moments. So I'm just going to type in best viral moments. And now it finds the moments for us. But before we do that, we need to select a template. So I'm going to do this template because I think that one looks the best. And now you're going to click on get clips in one click. So I've literally been doing that for all of the interviews that I found. Literally, if you go through it, I've been doing it for gaming videos. I've been doing it for interview videos, literally anything I could find that would work good for this. Now let's go back to our video that we have just clipped. So here we have the timeline of different videos. So what you can do is you can just select the ones that you like. So for example, this one. So now you have to go through all of your clips and find the ones that you like. And then once you're ready with them, you go to edit clip. And I've already edited this one as an example for you. You can literally edit everything from your clip. So here I have the video. I made something like a voiceover right here because I want to add something. I want to add some value to this video. So with an Ops clip, you can click on voiceover. Now you can type in your script here. You can select your speaker and then you can generate that speech. And then if you do that correctly, you get something like this. This is what Millie Bobby Brown did for her 20th birthday. For my 20th birthday. So what I basically did with this clip, I have my normal clip, which is this text right here. And then I added in a section. So in this video that I saw here, I saw this intro. So this intro is heavily edited. Hello. <laughs> well, I don't even think my parents. And I thought that looked quite funny. So what I did is I went to OpenSlip, added a section, and then I basically edited this section right here. I just selected all of that, and then I clicked on Add, and now this will be added to your video timeline. So I have that right there. Then I added in a dramatic zoom for effect, which you can see in the transitions right here. I zoom in. This is what Millie Bob. And then your video has a little voiceover and that actually adds a lot of value to your video because it makes it a bit more unique. If you're repurposing other people's content, this might help you not get issues with copyright. I say might because it, you are still at risk if you're copying other people's content. So if you're making a clip channel, I would also highly suggest that you try this with your own content. Now, after you've edited in this intro, then what you do next is you go to your video and you select the captions. So if you hold this, then you can see that there is a grayed out area right there and you don't want to place your text here because 
it might be overlaid with something like the channel name, the buttons that YouTube Shorts has. So I'm going to actually drag it up and I'm going to do something like this. But what I also see people do is I'm going to drag them up all the way to their mouth and then people just have to look at their eyes and the mouth so they don't have to look all the way down here but you can keep it anywhere in the middle whatever you like now once you're done with your video you click on save changes and your video will now be re-rendered and then you can download it so i've actually done all of this behind the scenes to show you the results with this video this took me literally less than two hours and i already have my first video online so here you can see this video that i made it is a 1 out of 10. It's performing way better than all the other ones that I made. And if we check it out on YouTube, we can see that this is the exact same video that I just made. So there's the proof that with Ops Clip, you can make your own podcast channel or your own podcast clips within 24 hours and upload them already. I just made one of them. But if I were to do this with multiple clips, I could potentially schedule out my whole month within 24 hours. Now, if you want to see more videos like this where I test out Ops Clip and try different new formats, then let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed watching, subscribe and I will see you in the next one.